Hi guys, welcome to my July setup video. This is also my one book July video, kind of, because this is the notebook I'm using this month. And um, as you can see, it has already been hugely filled up. This is actually the notebook I set up for the beginning of the year, as you can see, I'm flipping there a bit. So uh, it's mostly used. I think I have like a hundred pages, 130 maybe. Um, as free space to actually plan in. That should be enough for me. Uh, I think I'll be switching to another one come September anyway, so uh, I may be able to squeeze a couple of months in this one. So the cover you're seeing is from Chick Sparrow. It's the leather mockingbird and the color is hummingbird, if I remember that correctly because I keep mixing them up. Um, I have this picture on the front and then the elastic is there in the back. It works perfectly well. And I have this little folder, I think it's from FoxyFix, with a picture of my kids and some stickers in it. So, um, I am going to switch things up a little bit because I actually set up all my month, month monthly pages at the beginning. Here I am showing you. <laughs> so um, I left a couple of blank pages to do something with, maybe put a new yearly overview. And then there's my monthlies. So I did draw them all out till the end of the year. And um, this is so I can better forward plan. So it's a new thing I'm trying because um, I hate setting up future logs. <laughs> um, so yeah, as you can see, I already started a little bit in June, couldn't wait, so there's some June stuff and uh, I don't have to draw another monthly, so I will be doing something a bit different. The Tombow I decided to use for this month is the 491, so it's this very light blue and uh, I am using a Fudinosuke hard tip pen to draw, I mean write July. So I wanted, I wanted this to be fairly simple, um, something nice to look at. So I'm putting a little calendar in the upper corner there, just for reference to kind of see which day is which this month. And uh, I'm also planning on writing some important information on that page for the month. I actually have the page open in front of me. <laughs> Um, so I will be writing some goals and important dates on this page. As you can see, I messed up a little bit there, but that happens. Bullet journaling is always a lot of mistakes and correcting a lot of mistakes. Just in case you didn't know and um, are experiencing some kind of anxiety over it, don't. It's just a part of the process and that's okay. So I'm writing goals with my pen there. It's a Unijet Stream 4 plus 1, so I have four colors and a pencil in it. And those dots were made with a Zig dot pen in the color Platinum. So uh, I think you shouldn't pick more than three goals per month. Um, the reason why is that you're actually able to accomplish those and kind of like really think about what you want to do, um, have a schedule, something planned to actually fulfill all those goals. And three is pretty much the maximum that someone can, you know, um, do well. So my goals for this month, um, the first one is we actually, we found a new house, a new home for us, and there's a lot of renovations to do before we move in. So that's the first goal to actually start that process this month and then, um, I want to go through all of our storage here at this current house so that that would be done <laughs> because I won't have the time in autumn. And the third goal is actually to go to um, Gorgia Sari, which is a zoo here. Uh, it's also a facility where they take care of um, wild animals and nurse them back to health. So it's a nice kind of zoo. Um, and I really want to go there with my kids and my husband and maybe my mom stepfather and sister 
the important dates. Um, I actually met with a breeder because I'm planning to get a dog next year and so I'm looking for the right breeder and I think I, I found a very potential one. She actually put me, I met her yesterday and she put me um, on a list. So um, maybe, maybe I will get a puppy from her or someone else but uh, yeah, she was really nice and knew what she was doing. On the right side, I'm writing down my to-dos and my to-buys, just to have like space to jot all of that down. I probably won't be filling the whole page, but that's okay. No pressure. And then I really want to do a tracker. And that's because tracking is something that keeps me focused so I, I really need that in my life I'm a tracker I know everyone's not a fan of that but uh, it works for me so I'm using that gray pen which is a Monami plus pen 3000 in the color gray and I really love it for drawing because you can see the lines but they're not too dark and they don't take your attention away from like the information you're putting on the page so again putting the numbers down with my uni jet stream. The reason why I'm using that jet stream so much in this is because you can actually highlight over it. It's not a gel pen. It's, it's not really fully a ballpoint pen either, I think. It's something in the middle, but it doesn't smear. So it's really like convenient <laughs> for stuff like this. So um, the big tracker is the daily, daily one. And the bottom one, the little one, is the weekly tracker. You have seen me do this before. This is pretty much the exact same thing I did at the beginning of the year in this book. So uh, some of you probably recognize <laughs> my style in this. And that's fine. I mean, it works for me. I know it works, so I'm doing it. Things I'm tracking, in case you're interested, is my cycle, my um, hours that I'm sleeping, so my sleep. Also my mood, you will see at the end of the month how that actually looks like. I will be drawing kind of two lines, the sleep line and the mood line. Um, and then I have like headaches, uh, what else? Yeah, headaches, if I tracked my calories, tracked my weight, journaled or meditated, um, hair care routine, vitamins, and then my son's iron supplements and my kids like bath, wash days. So I cannot keep up with those if I don't have them like visibly there. <laughs> uh, the weekly tracker, I have the snail. Etana means snail, so taking care of the snail. Um, weekly, we do like a weekly wash up for her, him. And then I have vacuuming, uh, washing the high chair and changing the sheets. That Tombow is the N75, same grey that I always use because it's convenient and a nice shade of grey, I think. Then on this spread I'm doing two trackers that will look exactly the same. The other one is for gratitude. Actually, I think it's, yeah, it's the one I'm doing right now. The gratitude tracker and then on the right side of the spread I'm doing a social media one which some of you may have seen in my Hobonichi Cousin video. It's the exact same thing, but just in my A6 Bujo. So yeah, it's super simple. I am drawing some lines because it makes it look cleaner. Um, and I'm not writing the days because it just takes a lot of space that I don't really have in an A6. So I'm leaving it like that and just highlighting the weekends to kind of like separate the weeks visually. So yeah, I'm almost done actually. There will be some decoration, but like this is pretty much the gist of it. It's very simple. Uh, it was pretty quick to do. It took me like maybe 30 minutes. Uh, and I was like drinking wine and having fun. <laughs> so uh, nice, 30 minutes. And yeah, it works really well. I could have left it like this and 
uh, I always try to leave things very minimal and then I see some nice stickers and just get crazy. So you will see me just picking some stickers and putting them on the spreads. Uh, but yeah, I could have absolutely left it like that. But I'm doing a whole thing. These stickers are from Linus Potts and they're called Summertime. This is the Summertime collection from last year, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, there's some really nice, like, multiple animals, octopuses and um, seahorses and stuff. Super cute, so I couldn't resist, but seriously, I could have left it at that. <laughs> um, they make me smile though, so like, why not? If you want a very cute planner, just do it. It's there to make you happy. Um, my style is clearly something between minimal and cuteness, and that's okay. Yeah, I couldn't resist, had to put some stickers there as well. Um, so yeah, my, my July will be spent in this book. I don't know about August yet, it depends on how many pages I have left. Uh, if it will fit or not. But this is the end result. Um, I'm very happy with it. As you can see, actually, I'm putting the pens I used. Uh, I was actually kind of talking throughout this video and then decided to do a voice voiceover. So this is why this, I mean, I have a lot of hand gestures because I'm talking at the same time. Um, but yeah, I hope you liked it. Let me know what you thought about it. Um, let me know what you're doing for One Book July or if you're not doing One Book July because that's fine as well. Um, and I hope I will see you very soon. I have a bunch of ideas I want to do. I just, I've been so tired and busy and trying to enjoy the holiday with my kids. So hopefully I will talk about a lot of other stuff as well pretty soon um, yeah I couldn't help myself so as you can see I'm putting some stars down <sighs> in the month days which wasn't supposed to happen but there they are <laughs> anyway um, as I was saying I really hope you enjoyed this and I wish you a very nice July and yeah we'll be back bye